Okay, so this has been several videos now, and I want to catch this from the beginning because I kind of messed up the last one. I started to take the video while I already had nitrogen bleeding out. So let's get this from the get-go. This is the third time of the triple purge and evacuate. Right now I have the evacuate part going on, and you can see we're down to 416, and it didn't take long to get there. Because the system was so moisture contaminated, I was starting to stall out at 900 microns and it just would not move. It was stalling out because there's so much moisture in the system. This is where the dry nitrogen comes in and you perform the triple vacuum and, and purge. So, and it's exactly what it sounds like. You're purging dry nitrogen and you're flushing out the molecules of moisture that came out of the hose material, out of the oil, off the surface and you're pushing it and like a sweeping like sweeping dust on the ground and garbage you're sweeping it to that side you're sweeping it out of the system and purging it to the atmosphere using dry nitrogen so let's do this again and i'm going to show you from ground one so i have it closed right here i have nitrogen on boom nitrogen's on so now we have nitrogen sitting in this yellow hose right now I'm drawing, because once I got down there, I opened up the low side and I'm drawing both sides down a vacuum. But everything is gonna be drawn out through the low and the dry nitrogen sweeps in from the high. So, there we go. I'm closing the low side. Low side is closed. Now I'm gonna close the vacuum. The high side is open. Let me get you your light back there. Let's close the low side. Low side is closed. You see that jump up a little bit. And uh, before I couldn't even get it down past 900 and when it would go up, it would go back up to 2400 really fast. So now we have dry nitrogen sitting here. Our vacuum is off. Our low side is closed. Let's open this up. Boom, boom. See what that did. See how I did that really quick? Okay, five PSI, that's good enough. And uh, it could be the one PSI, two PSI, as long as it just like went positive. So now we just flushed everything all the way to the low side from the high side, starting at the compressor through the entire system. So now let's close the high side. Let's purge out or let's turn it off. Otherwise we'll blow our eardrums out because I don't have ear protection on right now. So you hear that come out. Okay, so now we're open right here. So now it's atmospheric pressure. We have positive pressure on the low side. Now we're gonna open up the low and we're gonna bleed it out the yellow hose. So if it's through the low side, open. There it goes. And you watch it drop over here because we're bleeding it out the low side, not the high side. The high side is closed. It's going through the entire system. Out right here, it's bleeding out right here. This is nitrogen. This is what we breathe. The air is 70% nitrogen. And I'm just waiting to go down and down and you see this chases this. There we go, we're at zero. Now, I'm gonna close where we're bleeding it out. So now, this is closed, the vacuum is still closed, the high side is closed, the low side is open. I'm gonna open up all the way. Now I'm gonna open up the vacuum and we're gonna vacuum from the low side, not the high side. We're gonna continue this flushing motion going on. There we go. So you can see how much lower it is here than what it's reading on the high side. It has to catch up over here. And then I'll do this until it's below 500 microns. Once it gets below 500 microns, I will just open up the high side and let it pull from both sides for a while. And uh, ideally is overnight, but they have to deliver this to the customer today. And that's why I went through the extra expense because I don't want a, cut, a comeback of, hey, even though you filled it up, when I drive at this temperature for this duration of time, it stops blowing cold. And it's because I could tell just by the smell that this is highly contaminated with moisture. And uh, if I really wanted to get anal about it and, and very detailed, I could put a moisture indicator seal between the high and low side vacuum it out it will be nice and green meaning there's no moisture in there and i could run the refrigerator and trickle it through from high to low fill it up with liquid and i could watch that green moisture indicator turn from green to yellow that's something my dad taught me when i was really young 
uh, before high school. Common knowledge, everybody knows this. And everyone's going, but I don't know it. Exactly. Um, it's just information and I'm trying to pass it on because I want everybody to know what I know. I want, I want to be able to stem the spark of somebody who really loves air conditioning or HVAC give them a lot of knowledge while they're still young so they could build on that with experience and take it not not wait 20 or 30 years to learn this stuff and even guys in this business 20 or 30 years don't know this stuff and the idea is this is what my dad knew when he was young he was taught by elder gentlemen who knew this back him now this is going back to the 50s where these guys were working at all this information was always used amongst a crowd of people were who were in the know who were properly educated who actually had formal education, not learning by the school of hard knocks, reading a few magazine articles, or taught by a guy who was taught by a guy who was 80 years old. No, the circle jerk, cam jerk thing doesn't fly. All right, guys, I will see you later when I fill this up. I'm not gonna run it because all the exhaust, uh, the air intake is down there, everything. All this had to come out for me. So I'm just gonna fill it and go charge, and I know it's going to work unless there's a expansion valve problem, unless there's an electrical problem. When I'm finished, I know what I did is moisture free, air free, pure refrigerant, properly charged. And when you hit that button, it works every time, unless there's an electrical problem or a physical mechanical problem. But I did my part with no, I crossed every T and dotted every I, nothing can be wrong. This is how you have no comebacks or no returns or, but you, you never make mistakes. Well, I can't say never. Uh, I still, when I walk on water, the bottom of my feet still get wet, so I haven't perfected it quite yet. See you guys later.